How's it going? Anthony Mataraja here, back with a new video lesson for y'all. In this particular lesson, I'm going to talk about guide tones. Now, this is um, actually a part of my upcoming ebook, um, Basic Jazz Vocabulary Builder. Um, one of the things many guys tend to do is we just want to get right to the hip stuff. But if I were to tell you there's so much involved in just getting the basics down first, you would say, okay, yeah, sure, that's so generic. But there's so much truth to it. That's why a lot of people abide by it. So one of the turning points in my career as a bass player was when I saw this video of Jeff Berlin soloing on a blues and he's just using guide tones. So it took me like a week to actually grasp or just to fathom the fact that the guide tones he's using are just the thirds and sevenths on the B flat blues. And I was just like, it cannot be because it sounds too melodic. I'm actually hearing music, just two notes of chord. How is that possible? It's totally possible. It's also because Jeff is a player of an extremely high caliber, a lot of experience. So there's so much conviction in his playing. But what I found very useful with guide tones is just the fact that they actually spell out the chord. So. One thing I always tell students is, okay, you want to learn to highlight changes. For example, you always try to target the third of any chord, which gives you the melody of all the things you are. Okay, so third and seventh are basic guide tones. Now that is all the things you are. Um, so if I were to take any standard, let's say, autumn leaves, the first eight bars. Okay, I'm just going to play thirds and sevenths. This is a good way to um, demonstrate because it's one chord a bar. Um, so C minor seven, F seven, B flat major seven, E flat major seven, A minor seven flat five, D seven, G minor six. G7 okay now that is just very basic very very basic right but I'm telling you try doing this with autumn leaves and all 12 keys the whole song this fast you're gonna struggle for sure especially when you start translating it into other keys because while it's just two notes of chord you need to ex you need to be extremely specific because it's just the third and the seventh, the relevant seventh, the relevant third. Okay. Now, what we can try to do eventually is to build melodies around these guide tones. So, right? What did I do there? Third, third, seventh. Then I went up to the fifth, to the third of F7. Third of B7. 
flat root root of e flat major to the third down to the seven okay so i'm already starting to create interest purely diatonic notes okay now what am i thinking here when i practice i'm thinking i'm trying to think and focus my ideas and energy around that vibe but of course once you start to get the hang of it you get very adventurous and then you can start shredding away so if i were to play autumn leaves from an extremely basic um, approach to what i would play now let's see what i'd get one two three four <laughs> Okay, so I tried my best to emphasize certain guide tones in the chord. For example, typically we have thirds and sevenths. Very simple, we have established that. But if I want to really bring out the color of the chord, let's say the C minor 7 in B flat majors in the key of B flat. If you go for the A, it gives you a lot of color. And the other thing is also that it's preparing you to go to the F7. Right? So even on the B flat major 7, I can go to the 6 prepares the third for the next chord so every guide tone leads into the next guide tone but if you also use what I call the color tones or the tension tones it's also leading into a guide tone for the following chord so it's really a mix and match situation in the book um, I've covered everything from a very basic point of view but guide tones is just one of the few topics I'm, I've talked about in the book. I talk about highlighting changes, playing chords away from chords, how to apply or just simplify modes, using motifs, how to phrase all these ideas together and the, how to use rhythm as well. Okay, so the takeaway for this lesson is really in digesting guide tones for simple standards and then translating it to 12 keys and then just try to go at it, like run at it just to see how well you can handle it, all right? You want to practice this to a point of um, recognition orally and physically and visually. You need to be able to see this stuff on the bass to play it, okay? So also try to spread them out. Don't always... Spread them all across the neck, all kind of note combinations, low, high, high, low, displace the octave. Just have fun with it, but be focused, do it right, and 
I cannot stress this enough about all 12 keys. All right, so that'll be all for this lesson. Um, if you want to know more about the ebook, do get in touch with me through my website and um, you can get all the information you need or, just, or whatever you're looking for, basically. All right, until the next one, I'll see you guys in the shed. Peace.